If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So here, first of all, I am going to create a new React.js project by using npx create react app. And I am going to give the name of the project as Spotify app. So now you can see that the new project has been created. Next, I am going to do is I am going to remove the boilerplate codes or unwanted files like logos from the public folder and app.test logo setup.test from this source folder. Then, next, I am going to remove these sections from this index.js file. Next, I am going to change the app.js as like this way so after that i am going to run the project so now you can see that here is the project next i am going to search for rapid api spotify i am going to click on this link here i am going to select this first link then we will be redirected to this section. So here I am going to log in by using my Google account by clicking this button. Next, I am going to do is here you can see the API. So I am going to click on this pricing first. Then you can see the methods of subscription. So here you can see a basic free subscription. So I have subscribed by clicking the subscribe button. You can see that here subscribed. Next, I am going to click on this end points. Here, I am going to click on this full screen icon. So, at that time, you can see that here is the URL. So, I am going to select the language, select this fetch. So, from here, I am going to copy this code completely. In this app component, I am going to define a new function. So, I have given the name of the function as get music which is an arrow function so here i am going to paste that code by giving a sync okay next you can see that here is the response so i am going to convert that response into json format instead of text next i am going to do is to call this function in the use effect hook so i have defined the use effect inside this use effect i am going to call the get music function Next, I am going to take the console. So, in the console, you can see that here is the result. So, the results contains the list of albums, podcast, journal, etc. So, what I am going to do is to map through this result. So, I am going to do is to take this users. So, here you can see there is items. The different items contains the different data. So here I am going to first define a new state. So I am going to give the name of the state as music. And I am going to pass the empty array as the initial state. Then next I am going to copy this set music and replace this console.log as like this way. After that I am going to map through this music dot users dot items then here i am going to give as return here i am going to take each as music data so i am going to use image tag and in the source attribute i am going to pass that is here you can see that in each items there is data which contains this image which contains a large image URL. So I am going to give here as music data dot data dot image dot large image URL. So I am going to copy and paste this here. So now you can see the images based on the users. Okay. 
Next, I am going to take the console again. So, in the results, uh, you can see that uh, there is albums also. So, there is items. So, each item contains the data. So, here you can see the name. So, I am going to show the name also. So, I am going to give here as albums instead of users. And here I am going to give as music data dot data dot name. Then I am going to convert this image tag into h1 tag. And here I am going to give as music data dot data dot name by removing the source. So at that time you can see the name also. Okay. If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel.